This is N2 LEN with another quick video clip. Here is my new to me Rigol DSA 815TG. Um, came with a bunch of beautiful accessories. I picked up this package from a um, ham radio operator on uh, Facebook Marketplace. It arrived today. And this is an early revision model. Right now what I'm going to be doing is first time, never done it before, firmware upgrade. Went to the Rigol website, um, found some stuff online, got to this uh, web page uh, to download the firmware, put my first name, my last name, the model, Rigol DSA815, TG, serial number. It then allowed me to download a zip file with the latest firmware. Um, you need a USB stick, formatted FAT32. Um, once you format it, uh, you open up that directory with the firmware. There are going to be three files in there. You just need to bring the .sys file over, copy it, and paste it to the root directory of the USB stick. Uh, procedure for installing it, and, and I'm going to be doing this just for the first time. So you, you shut down the unit, power cycle it down, insert the memory stick, power cycle the unit on. When it turns on, it automatically detects the USB stick. Now the procedure to get to read the file is you press the, I believe the storage button, and then you could see the uh, mobile disk, which it's already on it, and there is the actual uh, file. Let's see if I can get in there so you could actually see it. It's hard to see, but that's the actual .sys. It says uh, DSA underscore update file dot It's uh, 2,407 kilobits. Uh, kilobytes and it's dated uh, February 26, 2018. Now in order to move the cursor from here to here, you're going to select, you're going to hit the browser and you're going to move from directory to file. And once you press that, it is now selected on the cursor now moved over and now selected and highlighted the file. Next what you want to do is you need to press the down arrow one time, two times, and right up here on the second click you see it says now system update. So we're going to press that and hopefully uh, everything will uh, update. There we go. It says please wait. Starting updating firmware. Okay, let's see if it uh, just basically goes through one cycle, or if it does several cycles from uh, left to right. And this is being done in real time. Never done this before. But um, I don't know if there's an actual video on YouTube that shows this process, so here it is. Hopefully everything will go smoothly. It'll say uh, firmware update successful or whatever. <laughs> Hopefully I, did, I didn't brick the device. <laughs> so far it's it's going here. Let's see what happens. Updating firmware complete. And that's that. Okay. I'm going to shut it down. Pull out the memory stick. And we'll boot it up. And just see if everything boots up. Make sure it's working. Device initializing. Looks So far it looks good. 
and that's it okay and you can go in and you could check uh, you know and confirm the firmware I'm gonna do that next uh, by going into system and then selecting you know setting you know down and then basically you're gonna go into um, information and I'm not gonna click that because it's gonna show the serial number but that's basically you're gonna click right up there that's how to do it. This is N2LEN saying best 73. Good luck if you're updating the firmware on your Rigol DSA 815 or 800 series spectrum analyzer.